What up, guys? Soupy the Toilet. Woo! Oh, man. I got something really, really cool to show you guys today. It's going to be awesome. You're going to have to stick around, though, because we're going to talk about a couple things first. And we're going to talk about the shop and tech flyer. We're going to look at this real quick. Snap on. I picked up something that's so awesome from Snap on today. So you're going to have to check it out. Um, we're going to look over this flyer real quick light. In fact, let me just swoop you around. We're going to talk about it. Now we're not. We're, gonna, we're not even going to swoop you around because there's really a lot of tech stuff in here. Um, a lot of cool, there's a couple cool things. Um, for instance, this oil pressure, uh, this, uh, master pressure tester, digital master pressure tester. Really interested to see what you guys' thoughts are on this. Automotive test kit from Blue Point. Power steering adapter kit. Uh, those are getting more popular. Um, let's, look, let's just turn it around for a second. So bear with me here real quick. We'll go through this uh, adapter kit. I really uh, like this kit here. And uh, probably going to get it. Most likely. Um, welders, way too much money. Uh, they are they are great, but we're not going to get into why because most nobody everybody wants to buy a forney or something from not a forney but something cheap from Harbor Freight, and uh, you know I don't really want to sit here and argue with people that want to buy stuff from Harbor Freight. So we're just going to look at the Snap On uh, Tech Flyer here. I want to just touch base on a couple things here. Um, definitely want to get myself a pressure washer here or. A, cleaner someday but twenty two thousand or eleven thousand seven hundred dollars probably not going to be in the budget we got a cart over here welding cart body repair quick shut up cricket that's right so there's no crickets in here um there was a couple things i want to talk about in here thermal imager um i've been debating on getting this thermal imager at the whopping eighteen hundred and ninety five dollar price because of pixelation and course i did the other thermal imager people talk to me and i looked at the other one the lag on this big one is kind of i don't like that lag on it that's what i didn't like about it versus the one i already have um there was some i thought there were some good deals there's the light right there my favorite right there wireless charging light the e e c f l p r a 350 209 it's on sale um i just did a video on this Little rechargeable, rechargeable pocket flashlight flashlights for forty one dollars, same as the one battery operated one. Charging base for equine base seventy two dollars. Charging base for all Snap on wireless lights and can charge a third device as a mobile cell phone for seventy two dollars. Heck, that's cheaper than the Matco one. Uh, we've got some of their lights over here. Lights are a big thing right now, guys. Don't know why, but they are. Everybody wants to make lights. One thirty one for. This wireless conversion, dual wireless conversion light, 14.4 micro lithiums, yada, yada, yada. A lot of lights here. This one looks extremely loud, like the uh, Easy Red one. Not going to lie, that looks exactly like the street Easy Red, and I really do like that light. It does work fantastically. Anyways, ratchets, torque wrenches, uh, you know, kind of cordless tools i think that was really all i wanted to talk about i guess it really oh the table haha <laughs> snap on tray guys this is what i have right here love this thing i know some of you guys are gonna be like 576 dollars dude every worth every penny that crank handle alone no two none of those cheap ones have that and when you go to raise a full bench of tools when you have a full thing of tools you have to empty that off it's heavier than hell to lift it up and uh, i love that about this is is that not only that, I have that little tray over here for stainless tray for nuts and bolts. Obviously, I have this this tray here. This is an awesome separation tray for when you're doing to tear down. Awesome tray, and they're cheap. $37, guys. You definitely want to get some of those. So that's, uh, that's pretty much all I want to talk about, gloves, all that. Let's get into the other things. Are you guys dying yet? Do you really want to know what I got? Well, are you ready? Da-da-da! I got a new flat punch. I'm just kidding. I did get a new. I get, did get a new one of these. This is a uh, part number uh, PHG688. 
This is the longer stem flat one. I got this one for my air hammer because I needed another one. I do have a bigger set of these coming from another company that uh, probably going to be just fine with. But today's video actually involves something much cooler, much different. And uh, I'm not sure that I've seen these before. And uh, I didn't even actually realize they had them on the snap-on truck. But it's been a while. Um, but first of all, we're going to talk about... I'm going to show you a little magic trick. Nothing up my sleeve. Just a wrench. Just a box-in wrench. And a bolt and nut. I'm going to make this nut disappear for you on camera. Right now. Are you ready? I'm going to stick it in this wrench. And I'm going to twist it a couple times. And pop up. Wait, that didn't work. Besides bad magic. Let me try this again. I'm going to twist it in there. And I'm going to twist it in there. And voila. The nut is gone. Now with a little flick of my wrist. A little action. I'm going to make this, this nut. come. I'm going to make the nut come back in real life to this wrench. See nothing in here. A little flick and a little twist. I'm going to twist it. And voila! You ask yourself, CP, how do you do that? That is some crazy magic. Well, it's not magic. And besides that, you probably buy it now. Probably figured it out because I have terrible. I'm not a magician. But what I am good at is tools. And what I do have today is going to be handy. And you're definitely going to want one. So you uh, are you ready yet? Has I built the suspense up enough? Bam! Nut holder. That's right. Just a simple little tool like this that slips over your wrench and holds your nuts. Now, everybody wants their nuts held firmly. But no, no, hold them like the nut holder. It slips on the back of your wrench like so. So you can get it into a spot. And then you take this. Take your nut as if you're going to. Look at that. And look at that. Magnetic. That's right. Magnetic. Let me show you off the wrench. It's got a little magnetic backer to it. Pretty cool. It's actually a soft. It's a kind of a rare earth magnet or something. I guess they use. But it slips over any size wrench. Doesn't matter. In fact, we should probably try it on any size wrench to show you. But um, would you like me to try it? Let, let's look at another bigger wrench. Let's see if it'll cut the mustard on a 22 millimeter wrench. Might be pushing my luck here on this one. This is a pretty big one. Let's see if I can do this without breaking or bending this. You gotta hold your tongue to the left. Slide it over. Yeah, this this might be going a little bit out of out of its way for, it, but uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll see how big it is. Let's see if it holds this 20 mil two millimeter wrench. Box in pretty thick. See if this will hold. Uh huh. Look at that. 22 down to a 13 millimeter. Holds into that. Look at that. So if you have to <coughs> start a nut in a blind area, this this little nut holder. Boy, that sucker holds good. This little nut holding tool that slips onto the back of your wrench like so. Crazy, crazy awesome, eh? From Snap On. The part number is a YA207. And hopefully, all of you stuck around to watch all this because honestly, this is a freaking killer tool. And it's only $5 off the Snap On truck. Seven, maybe. I don't remember. I saw it and I remember seeing these before. And I said to myself, CP, you're going to have to have that right now. Holds a 22 millimeter knot, went on a 22 millimeter wrench. All the way down to a 13. It slips on, obviously, smaller wrenches. Much easier. It's pretty simple. Actually, I just do it the crisscross pattern. As I just say, take it like this. And then you just kind of lock it in there. And look at that. Look how it fits. It's just snug around there. But you'll get the nut started. And it fits any size wrench. Now, I do have other wrenches. So, Mac has a special ring in there. See the wire ring in there? 
and uh, this is a 13 millimeter and what these do is is they they start and hold the nuts too a little bit more cumbersome to get started not gonna lie to you you got to snap them in the ring and they do hold the nut and you can start them but it's kind of hard to do it that way because it pushes out when you're doing when you're getting them started on something uh, let me show you so when you're trying to push on it when you're trying to push in it pushes out it, it actually holds better if you're using it on the back side to push in still pretty cool but this thing this thing definitely works better use a lot more force on it uh, I think this is a patented design and you can clearly see it holds well and for five bucks it's just cheap insurance guys ask your local snap-on dealer look it up on Amazon I'll see if I can find a link for it somewhere else but nut you're gonna want to get your nut holder Anyways, guys, that's the video for you. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.